Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jorge. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you, yo. Bienvenidos a su clase de inglés. Es un placer verles. All right. So today we're going to continue working on section five. Este día vamos a continuar trabajando la sección cinco. Tenemos bastante contenido que trabajar, pero lo bueno es que tenemos, eh, aparte de esta clase, tenemos dos días más, right? So that's good. So let's check. Today we have class 14. Let's see. I can't ice skate very well. We have a conversation. But before going into the conversation, I want you to listen to the video from the platform. Ustedes ya saben que es usual que utilicemos el video de la plataforma para que ustedes puedan tener como doble oportunidad de escuchar la pronunciation, all right? Con el fin de que ustedes puedan mejorar todavía más su pronunciation. So let me check it. Let me uh, change it. See, let me see. Okay, let's check the following video, please. If you listen carefully to the audio or to the video, let me know, please. You can say yes. Si se escucha completamente el audio, me hacen saber, please. Solamente me tienen que decir yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Como que hay otro televisor o algo. No. Sí, sí. No, no. Right. Yes, pero creo que ya lo pago. Creo que es Jessica que tiene background, pero, pero sí se escucha, Jennifer. Sí, sí, sí se escucha. Here we go. Ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey. Wait, I don't know why it doesn't look good, the presentation. Bueno, prestemos la atención a la pronunciation, porque eso es lo que más me interesa. La conversación siempre la van a ver en la PowerPoint, ¿ok? Baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. All right, so we're gonna stop it in here. So let's go to the PowerPoint. So we have simple present WH questions, a conversation, I love sports. I'm gonna make it bigger for you. So. Here we go. We have Lauren and Justin, okay? So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really, what sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, very good. Let's go. I need a 
I need a volunteer to practice with me. Yeah. Okay, let's go, sir. Um, you're going to be Justin, so I'm going to start. So Justin, okay. what do you do in your free time? Well, I love the sport. Really? What sports do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're really good. You're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Great, excellent. Moises, repeat after me. Favorites. 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 En la O como si no sonara, Moises. Favorites. Favorites. Excellent. There you go. Bravo. That's correct. Now let's make the figures. We are going to have Yvette Aguirre, you are Lauren, and Felix, you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, basketball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. Do I Wow, you are really good athletic. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. and just what theme of television. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Felix, repeat after me. Baseball. Baseball. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Yvette, repeat after me. A athlete. Athlete. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Now let's go with the next pair. Vamos con las siguientes parejas. Eh, sería Jessica Hernández. Usted va a ser Lauren. Jorge Castaneda. You are Justin. Action. So Justin, what do you what do you do in your free time? Well, I love esports. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, uh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. television. Well, well, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Um, let me check. Yeah, very good. Everyone, please remember the word favorites. All right, favorites. We don't mention the O. So let's go with Jennifer Marisol. You are Lauren. Omar Chacon, you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do? do in your free time? Will, I love your sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play uh, this sport? Oh, I don't. Play this sport. I just watch them them on television. Very good, excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Now let's once again don't forget the word favorites. All right, we are still listening to favorites, and that's not correct. It's favorites. Now let's go with the next pair. Let me have. Okay, ya pasó Félix, ya pasó uh, Yvette, ya pasó Moisés. Vamos con Arely. You are Lauren. Usted va a ser Lauren. Y Sandra Ríos, you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? 
Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are a really good athlete. Ah, uh, when do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good, excellent, thank you. And now let's go with the last pair. I think it's gonna be, creo que solamente me queda Julio, all right? So let me check. Vamos a ver Julio, creo que viene entrando alguien más a la clase. Okay, yes, we have Julio and Francisco. Bueno, Francisco, porque usted va entrando, solo le explico que estamos practicando esta conversation de manera de calentamiento, right? Así que usted va a participar con Julio. Julio, usted sería Lauren. En Francisco, you are going to be Justin. Usted sería Justin, Francisco. Action. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free, in your free time? Well, I, lo I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow. You are a really good athletic. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play the sport and just watch the on television. All right, excellent. Thank you. Now, listen up. That was a good warming up, right? Esto ha sido un buen calentamiento para que nos acordemos de un solo desde entrada de la clase como hablar inglés, all right? Now, because I have noticed that sometimes when I ask you, how are you? You don't answer. Some of you answer, but some others still not giving me an answer. So that's why we are going to start. We started the class today with a conversation, right? For you to practice your English. Now, let's check the following. Now, this one, I got to fix it. Let's just move it over here. Now, we have grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, uh, I'm going to have Rebecca de Benavides. Rebecca, I'm going to ask. Yo le pregunto y usted contesta con esta misma respuesta, okay? Yes. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends for, from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play a uh, hunter park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Bravo, Miss Benavides, excellent pronunciation. Now, let's check everyone. Let's go over here. Vamos a trabajar en pairs, all right? Lo mismo para practicar. Solamente que voy a hacer la primera pareja y con ellos les voy a explicar cómo vamos a trabajar esta dinámica. La primera pareja sería Omar Chacón, va a trabajar con, con Julio Aguillón, all right? Las primeras right. tres preguntas las hace usted, Omar, y Julio responde las primeras tres veces, all right? Luego okay. Julio... Luego Julio va a preguntar las otras tres que sobran y usted contesta, Omar. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. ¿Qué sport do you play? 
I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with my friends, with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We, we play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Once or twice, Omar? Uh, once. Uh -huh. or twice. Or twice, or twice, or twice, yes. Or twice, a week, a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, Mar. very good. Now, everyone, let's check the following. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. I'm going to have a Jennifer Marisol. You are going to be the first three questions. Usted va con las primeras tres preguntas. Y ve Aguirre, usted contesta las primeras tres y luego termina con las otras de, tres preguntas. All right? Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Would you play basketball? Who do you? Se comió el sujeto. Who do you? Who do you? Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice. Uh, once or twice once or twice a week when do you practice we practice on sunday what time to do you start we start at 10 o'clock in the morning very good girls excellent good rhythm good pronunciation everything was perfect Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Eh, Jessica Hernández. You are the first three questions. Usted va a hacer las primeras tres preguntas. Félix Sánchez, usted contesta las primeras tres. Cuando termine en Park, Félix, comienza con las otras tres preguntas y por ende Jessica va a contestar. Okay. Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. How do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Uh, what do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you, practice? Do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent, thank you. Good intonation and questions and good intonation and answers. Buena entonación al preguntar, Felix, y excelente entonación, Jennifer, al contestar, right? Now, solo Jenny, eh, no era Jennifer, era Jessica, I'm sorry. Este, solamente Jessica, repita después de mí, twice. Twice. Mm -hmm. Y la otra sería, eh, la otra. Who? ¿Cuál, perdón? Who? Who? Yes. Si usted me okay. dijo who oh, aquí. Ah, okay. Who oh, creo que me dijo. Entonces es who. Sí, sí. Right? Yes. Who. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Miss Hernández. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Jorge Castaneda. The first three questions. Moises, the first three answers. And then, Moises, you answer the last. You ask the last three. Action. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We had a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. 
how do you often you how often do you practice we practice once or twice a week when do you practice we practice on sundays what time do you start we start at 10 o'clock in the morning very good, excellent, yo. Good intonation and pronunciation, therefore. Uh, Jorge, repeat after me, please. Mm, which one? Uh, once. Once. Yes. Once very or good. twice a week. Exa excellent, very good, exactly. Let's go with Francisco Martinez and Sandra Rios, all right? La misma dinámica, please, Francisco, las primeras tres preguntas. Y luego, Sandra, las últimas tres. Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do, who do, you, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We well, practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We we practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We we'll start on um, 10 club in the morning. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Now, Francisco, repeat after me. Uh, once or twice? Once or twice. Excellent. That's correct. Now, let's go with Vanessa and Scarlett. The first three questions. Vanessa, las primeras tres preguntas. Areli, usted contesta y luego pregunta las últimas tres. Areli, action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How, how, how often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent, that's correct. Good pronunciation, girls. Now, let's go with the last one. Solo me hace falta Andrea. No sé si le funciona el micrófono, Andrea. Ah, hola, hola, sí. Yes, okay, vamos a pedirle a, ya le digo, a Rebeca de Benavides, please. Me le pregunta a Andrea las primeras tres questions y hacen la misma dinámica como las otras parejas. Please, action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How um, often do you practice? We practice one or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What times do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, girls. Now, listen up, everyone. I gotta say something. Tengo que decirles algo. Hay dos cuestiones con la palabrita once. Un número uno, no podemos decir once. Número dos. No podemos decir one porque no es lo mismo, right? Once or twice, okay? So now, with that being said, let's move on to the following. Let's go to the structure. Teacher, teacher disculpe, ¿cómo es que se dice ese on, donde dice once? Once. Dice? Once. Mm -hmm. Once. Así. 
Ah, ok, gracias. Once. Quisiera, quiero ver si les puedo poner aquí la pronunciación. Once. Algo así sonaría. O con W. Once. All right. Yes. Gracias. There you go. Yo lo puse con G la pronunciación. Once. once. Ajá. No, pero ahí me, ahí me sonaría así como, ah, como once. Yeah, it's Ajá. okay también, Jennifer. Yes, very good, once. Es algo difícil y confusa la palabra. Uh -huh. Pero con la pronunciación que ustedes le pongan, como ustedes la escuchan, it's okay. Um, de ahí empezamos, all right? Now, let's check the structure. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement, easy peasy, right? Esta estructura no tiene nada que ustedes no conozcan ya de por sí, okay? WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Una estructura normal para WH questions, right? Now, um, let me ask, le voy a pedir a Félix que me lea la estructura, please. Your microphone. Good structure. Wow. Uh, the blue is uh, word plus do does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus interrogate. Uh, Question mark. Question. Okay. Yes. All right. Excellent, sir. Thank you. That's correct. Right, le quité el once ahí porque pueden pensar que era de, de, de tópico, right? Pero no. Now, let's go with Julio. Can you read again the structure, please? Give it an instruction. WS word plus do, does plus subject, suggest plus verb plus complement plus question mark. That's correct. Thank you. And the last one, Areli, please. Can you repeat again the structure? W H H or plus the or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question word. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Do or does. Now, everybody, now let's see the examples. Veamos los ejemplos. What sports does Eunice play? Who do you play tennis with? Where does he play? How often do they practice? Okay, simple and normal questions that you can make using WH words. Preguntas normales o usuales que hacemos utilizando las WHs, right? ¿Cuáles son las palabras de WH que estoy utilizando, Ivette? Desde la 1 hasta la 4. What, where, where, and how. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Y veamos, Omar, ¿cuáles son los auxiliares que yo tengo en todas? Oh, perdón. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliary verbs que yo tengo en las questions? Verbos. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares que tengo? Ah, ok, ok. El das y el do. Yes, sir. Excellent. Very good. Now, we also have normal verbs, right? También tenemos verbos normales que le siguen a eso. In number one, in which one is the, the other verb, Moises? Hello. In number one, what's the other verb? Uh, bird, uh, play. Yes, that's correct. And number two? Sports. Mm -hmm. Ah, verb, verb. Pardon, pardon. Eunice, uh, play, play, what is sport? Do Eunice play? Play, the you know? Mm. No, la número uno la dijo correcta, Moisés. Ahora le pregunto por la number two. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Ah, sí, perdón, perdón, perdón. Ah, no lo voy a escuchar. Ah, para el nombre two es play. Yes, it's the same verb, right? The same one that we're using. 
es el mismo verbo que estamos utilizando en la mayoría de estas. Thank you, Moises. All right. But we change it a little bit in number four because our verb in number four, it would be practice, right? So that's pretty much the explanation for these questions. Now let's check another guiding structure. Vamos a chequear otra estructura guía, right? Y esta ya es más específica porque va con el with. Si se notaron, por ahí teníamos un ejemplo con with, pero ya les voy a mostrar más para que puedan chequear. Guiding structure, we have who. Le vamos a poner guiding structure con with. Solo que no se le puede poner with, with. <laughs> Take it there. Yeah, I mean, sí se puede porque sí existe, pero es mejor decir lo que escribirlo. El contexto, el contexto aquí. <laughs> exactly, with with. Now, we got who plus do or does plus subject plus verb and noun plus with plus question mark. All right. There you go. That's basically it. Miren, aquí donde dice verb and noun. Básicamente le han puesto la palabrita and, y esto sí lo tienen ustedes en el video, creo, te oigo porque de ahí siempre saco las estructuras, right Le han puesto la palabrita and, pero también usted le puede agregar el, el plus, right Viene siendo lo mismo. Va a necesitar un noun y va a necesitar un verb. So, let's listen to Francisco. Can you read the structure, please? Me lee la estructura, Francisco. Who plus do mm, do or do sorry sería do or do Francisco ya llevamos bastante tiempo utilizando do. estas auxiliares no pueden decirme do tiene que ser do, do. okay pensé que lo había dicho bien okay sorry do does plus subject subject plus verb and noun plus with plus question mark mark excellent thank you, thank you francisco now let's go with sandra rios repeat again the structure please okay who plus do does plus subject plus verb and now plus with plus question mark. That's correct. Thank you. And let's go with Rebecca de Benavides. Can you repeat again the structure? Who plus do or does plus subject plus verb and noun plus with plus question mark. That's correct, excellent. Everyone remember that I always try to try to push at least three people from the class to repeat the structures because I need you to listen carefully the pronunciation of each of the parts of the structure. Siempre, si se habrán fijado, casi siempre le pido a tres personas que me lean la estructura. Para lo mismo, chicos, all right? Para que puedan comprender bien la pronunciation Y también para que se les haga un poquito, más, un poquito más fácil recordar, all right? Now, let's go with this one. We have the guiding examples. Number one, who does Martin play basketball with, right? Who does Martin play basketball with? Who do you practice with? With whom does Juan play? All right. Miren, esta lo único que varía es que va a iniciar usted con el with, pero cuando utiliza la palabrita whom, all right, que usualmente es para decir con quién, all right, preguntando con quién. So that's when you can use it. No hay mucha ciencia, no hay mayor explicación, solo eso. Si usted utiliza el with al principio, tiene que utilizar el whom, all right. Now, let's check the following. Vamos a ver. Let's ask Omar Chacon. Can you read number one, two, and three, please? Okay. Uh, 
with an example, please. Who does Martin play baseball with? Who do you practice with? He, with whom does Juan play? Repeat, whom. ¿Cómo es, perdón? Whom. Hum. Así como si usted estuviera enojado. Hum. Hum. Así como okay. la marca las motos va. Whom. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Okay. Así tiene que ser. Whom. Yes, whom. Okay. Exactly. With whom. Right, there you go. Now, let's check another one. Let me ask a... Well, no, with that was, was enough. Now, let me tell you something. La estructura para las dos, para esta estructura, las dos que más se apegan es, es, son estas, right? Pero esta también se las pusieron en el video porque va a haber más de alguna vez que usted la va a escuchar en su vida que alguien utilice el with whom, right? Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I was practicing sports yesterday with my sister. Estaba practicando deportes ayer con mi hermana y quizás la persona no le escuchó. Entonces le puede preguntar, with whom? All right? You can make use out of it. De lo contrario, solo se logra escuchar de vez en cuando. No es como que muy frecuente. Now, estas dos sí. All right? Y son las que están basadas completamente en la guiding structure. With that being said, habiendo dicho esto, let's go to the practice time. Your favorite part of the class. Now, let's listen to Moises. Please, can you read? One, two, and three, the instructions. Practice time. Uh, work as a world class. Ahí sería whole. Work as a world. Whole. Whole. Yes, work as a whole class. Ah, so admit the W, okay. Mm -hmm. Work as whole class. Create a list for question using WH work. Share your question with the class. That's correct. Now, um, yeah, you can create, create only three, all right? Solo crean, tienen de crear tres. Porque quiero que todos participen. Esta, la clase pasada, la de ayer, no todos participaron porque les pedí voluntarios y algunos sí se atrevieron a, a ser voluntarios, all right? Y no los quise presionar diciéndole a los demás, pero ahora sí lo voy a hacer. So let's go. Recuerden, tienen que utilizar esta guiding structure que es la normal y simple y más sencilla de todas. Y esta. All right. No. Let's work on it. Esa es la de ahorita que estábamos viendo en la practice, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Okay. Pueden, si sienten que es más fácil esta estructura porque ya es de algo que ustedes conocen porque esto lo vimos hace como una semana. Entonces pueden hacer, la, pueden hacer dos con esta y una con la estructura rosadita, que es la que termina en with. Teacher, I have a question. En, en esta última de esta estructura que dice with, al final se le, pro, se le pone un complemento, ¿verdad? Mm, yes. No, necesario. no. Sí, no. no significa que va a terminar con el with, Moises, ¿ve? Ah, ok. Ah, with those Martin play basketball with. Ah, ok. Y de hecho esa, qué bueno que lo destacó Moises, qué bueno que recuerdo eso, ¿verdad? Right? De hecho, este, esta estructura del with, si se notan, solo la pueden utilizar con el who. Uh, no es ajá. que van a utilizar otra WH word. Ajá, o sea, pues que estoy andando, no, no, no sé ahí cómo, cómo usarla con otra WH question. Ajá, no tiene sentido. No tiene sentido, exacto. Si aquí lo único que variaría entre esta estructura y la otra es que usted puede hacer uso de diferentes verbos. Usted puede decir, who do you talk with? Who do you practice with? Who do you take lunch with, right? Puede ser diferente verbo con esta.
Right, have you finished everyone? Yes, I finished. Great, let me hear you Moises. You're going to be the first one. Well, what do you practice in your free time? In your free time, sorry, sorry. Yes. What do you time when up, wake up in the morning? What and time do you wake up in the morning? Ah, do you wake up? Uh -huh. Ah. Okay, pues, what do you time wake, wake up in the morning? Uh -huh. No, sería what time? Porque ah, ahí su, 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 le explico esto, Moisés. Su sujeto sería el it, porque el tiempo es parte del it, right? Solo que está sustituido por un noun, right? Ah, el tiempo sería el it, ok. Uh -huh. En vez de o que sea, usted pusiera el it, what time do usted you... puso, pero mira, oh, en vez de poner el it, usted puso time. Ajá. Y está correcto. Ah, ok. Dice la última. Who does Emily go take the lunch with? Who does Emily go take the lunch with? Who does Emily take the lunch with? Ah, ok. El takes, le quito la S, perfecto. Ajá, sí, porque ya tiene el auxiliar das. La regla gramatical de los auxiliares dice eso. Ah, ok, ok. Yes. Ay, Moisés, no nos olvidemos de eso. Eso lo aprendimos hace dos semanas. No, que como, como ya hay algo también, el take es un verbo también. Pero no puede Pero llevar, pues, no puede llevar dos unidos así, go take, no puede decir eso. Ok, ok. O deja go o deja take. Ah, en, cualquier, en cualquiera de los dos casos, o podría agarrar uno o el otro. O Solo es el primero. Go, go para decir toma el almuerzo o come el almuerzo no aplicaría. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. Por eso tiene que decir, eh, poner esto. Who does. Eh, ¿Me dijo nombre de la persona o no? Emily, por poner, por poner el nombre a la tercera persona. Takes lunch with. Right? Ah, o sea, nos tener... lo pide la, la, la estructura. Does nos lo pide la estructura. El subject sería Emily. Takes uh, el verb. Take verb. Lunch, Lunch sería el complement. With la. There you go. Más sencillo. Right. Now, excellent, Moises. Very good. Very well elaborated. Muy bien elaboradas. Now let's check, let's go with the next one. Alguien más, please? Julio. Yes, let me hear you, Mr. Ayun. With whom does your sister play? Vaya, mire, se le escucha bien bajito, Julio. No sé si puede acercarse al micrófono, tal vez. With whom does your sister play? Excellent. Who does he go by reading with? Excellent. What sport does she like? What sports does she like? Yes, very good. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Another one. Alguien más? Action event. Después de Yvette, Sandra. What books do you like to read? Uh, permítame. What books do you like to read? Do you like to read? Okay. Where do you go running every morning? Uh -huh. yes. With whom does Mary go to gym? Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Okay. Bravo. Excellent event. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Sandra. What sport? Does your brother play? Mm -hmm. Who do you play soccer with on Sunday? Uh, with, mm -hmm. with on Sundays. Sí, está bien on Sundays. Okay. We does Richard play ba baseball? 
with. Who with does? Uh -huh. No. Who with does? That? Who does with Richard that? play baseball with? Where does is? Where does? Ah, where does? Where does? Uh -huh. Ah, where does? no, no, le agregué el with. Where Where does Richard play baseball? Hasta ahí. Está perfecta, Sandra. Hasta ahí. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente. Eh, Rebeca de Benavides, please. And where, where does Peter eat in the morning? Mm -hmm. What languages do you speak? Who does he play hockey with? Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Those are correct. Let's check another one. Alguien más? Me faltan bastantes students. All right. Bye. Entonces, pick yeah, teacher. Ah, bye. Excellent. Vamos, Jessica. Okay. Um, what does my mother cook fish for lunch? ¿Cómo, cómo? What does my mother cook fish for lunch? Vaya, ahí en vez de ponerle what, porque usted ya está, si me dice, me pregunta el qué, pero ahí mismo usted me está dando la respuesta, porque, la respuesta porque dice fish. No se puede. Tal vez puede preguntar por qué mi madre cocina pescado para el almuerzo. Why... ¿Qué sería eso? Que se parece, que dice, que Why? Why? Okay. Solo así la aplicaría yeah. bien porque no puede preguntar yeah. what yeah. y luego decir fish porque usted misma se está contestando. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. What, uh -huh. Why does my mother cook fish for lunch? Exactly. For lunch. Asumido. Esa misma pregunta me hago yo porque no me gusta el pescado. <laughs> Why do he cook that? ¿Por qué cocinan eso si saben que no me gusta? Thank <laughs> you, Jessica. Excellent. Another one. Otra, Jessica. Eh, who do you play golf Nunca with? Ver, uh -huh. Yes, very good. Y no, who no sé does Maria eat cheese with? Yes, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Jessica. That's Victor. correct. Victor. Very good. Another one, alguien más? Hello. Okay, vamos con Jorge. Hello, me, me escucha? Yes. Bueno. What time do you play the guitar? When do you park in your car? Your car? Repítala, please. When do you par parking your car? Where do you park your car? Where do you park your car? Okay. What game do you play? Bravo, excellent. Si están correctas, Jorge, solo que no me hizo la del with. Okay, pero están correctas, <laughs> todas. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yes, Vanessa, part? action. Okay. Uh, who does she hack hacking with? Where do you no? Where do Jose and Maria practice in the morning? Yes. Uh, with whom does Raúl play soccer? Very good. Uh -huh. With yes, very good, Vanessa. Excellent. Okay. Now, everyone, congratulations you all to the ones who passed. Felicitaciones a los que pasaron, all right? Miren, esto no es por perder el tiempo. Con esto usted está practicando y de hecho es más. Tiene ventaja extra porque cuando usted practica en la plataforma, yo no le puedo ayudar. Pero aquí si usted practica, yo le puedo ayudar. Si hay algo que quizás le salió mal, una palabrita, una S que cambiar, yo le puedo ayudar. Pero usted haciéndolo por sí solo no se daría cuenta, all right? So let's go to the next part, pronunciation, can or can't. So here we go with this. I can't sing, right? We have Gayla and Philip. 
Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Can't enter a talent contest? What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Now, do I need a volunteer to practice with me? Nobody? Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> you are Philip, I'm Kayla. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter on talent concept. What can I do? You can sing very, no, you can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play, but I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good, excellent. Good thing for you, everybody, that you're going to have tomorrow to practice. Ok, la ventaja de esto es que van a tener el día de mañana para practicar porque ya saben que mañana no tenemos clase. Así que esta conversación el jueves que vengamos me la van a dar como fire, right? Como fuego, van a brillar porque ya van a tener la pronunciation que deben de tener. Ok, vean el video, veanlo once, veanlo twice, veanlo three times, as much as you want. Veanlo la cantidad de veces que necesiten verlo para poder practicar la pronunciation. Y el día jueves vamos a iniciar con esto como calentamiento, ¿ok? Now, everyone, remember, tomorrow we won't have class. Recuerden, mañana no tenemos clase. Tendremos hasta el jueves y viernes. All right? With that being said, habiendo dicho esto, have a good night. All right? Rest. Rest a lot. See you on Thursday. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye.